I have a strong belief that I can do it. When I believe on something, then I will, I will make sure that I, I will accomplish. Being in the team in the camp is, is really crucial. You see, you know, when you're training with many people and you see those people are actually aiming and wants, everybody wants to run well, I also want to run well. It's more enjoyable to train in camp because I have uh, teammates. You enjoy running rather than running alone. Because if you know to live, how to live with people, then that's one way to enjoy life. Patrick is my coach. Patrick is, uh, is my mentor. Patrick is my life coach. Besides himself being an athlete, Elliot is a very serious role model because he, he lives like any other normal Kenyan. And by doing so, he's, he's showing the athletes that uh, the younger athletes, life is not about the stardom. It's about going through the normal routine of your life. <laughs> yeah, some years back, when um, I think it was sometimes in 1995, uh, there was uh, some discussion between uh, Jos Hermans, the, the boss of Global Sports Communications, that they wanted to have a, a base in Kenya. The idea was initially to help young developing athletes um, to realize their potential. The, most of the time in Kenya, the uh, young athletes, they don't have the possibilities to access training facilities and a good place where they can get the technical support by way of coaching. We've used it as a model where senior athletes can also be in the camp and uh, to mentor and help give direction to the young athletes that are coming up. Um, we only want to continue believing and with the extra support we're getting now from Ineos, uh, we hope to, to see a, a better performance uh, come the day. Our training week is like this. Then they are report on Monday evenings. They know we have on Tuesdays. It's either fat leg for marathoners. For the track athletes, it's basically track. Uh, Wednesday is a recovery day by way of uh, exercises and uh, using their bodies to strengthen areas of weakness. On Thursdays for marathoners, we normally go for a long run. On Friday is another recovery uh, plus exercise sessions. Saturday is a, a tough session, speed or fat leg. And then, then the cycle begins again. Down, four, down, five, down, one, down, nine, down, <laughs> the training is going on well, and I spend one month one, one, uh, training with the uh, gymnasium and everything at home. Uh, but what has changed really since I came to come is that uh, uh, I have mingled with my teammates, that's first, and the second point is that uh, it's no longer gym work, it's now uh, strength, uh, it's endurance speed, uh, total endurance and it's all about running.
think uh, Eliud has a, uh, is, has a belief that no human is uh, limited and for sure he has proof uh, in so many uh, locations. Like for, uh, in every marathon that he, he, he trained, he is always running faster and faster. And that's what makes us all to believe that he will do it. Eliud uh, believes that it's possible with, uh, with what he's doing. He believes so much in, uh, in, in, in training that he, he does. He believes so much in the teamwork that we are doing. And also himself, he believes so much that uh, he will break it. And that uh, for sure, we are, even for us, we believe that he will do it because uh, we are training together and we know him, we have known him for many, uh, many years. Well, looking back and uh, looking at how we came together 18 years ago or so, I think I see myself probably more as somebody who became a role model at one point, had an opportunity to play my role as a teacher. But uh, up to three years ago, uh, 2017, the roles somehow changed because I'm now beginning to be a student. And he's, he's somehow teaching me some things I did not have as in my capacity, uh, but I'm getting to know um, through him. Yeah. So it's been a, a, a role model position, a coach, a teacher, um, and, and now I'm, I'm a student. <laughs> Guys, how do you think about uh, 159 in your uh, challenge? I think most people they think it's uh, impossible, but uh, you know there is a, a proof that says that nothing is impossible in man, so I think it's possible. Yeah, especially now that Eliud is living in a, he's, he's, he's believing that no human is limited. Yeah. And for so long, so for so many times, he has shown uh, the potential. Yep. He has run faster in every marathon. And for sure, I think uh, he will do it. And I think also many people outside does not know more about uh, about us here in camp. Yeah. That we believe so much in teamwork. Yeah. So with our team, with our support, and our encouragement to Eliud and to that challenge, it's going to be possible. It's yes. possible. Yeah. 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 One thing that I've, I've learned from Eliud is that uh, when he says something, he's, he's focused, he's ready for that, and, and it doesn't disappoint. So I, I know he's going to make it. The, the support that uh, Eliud will have from fans will be more than uh, having in a in a place where there is no fans. Yeah, from the scenario we see uh, from uh, Premier 2. I think there were no fans uh, no. cheering for Eliud and giving support. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think if, the, if, if, if this time they can give that support, uh, allow people to come and, to cheer, come and cheer him, yeah. then it, it's, a, it's, it's a real moral. Yeah, and it's going for to sure, you encourage yeah. him and support him. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are, we are doing a lot of exercise. Mm. Yes, by yeah, then yeah, there yeah. were yeah. no there. We now it's, uh, it's, it's uh, on the program that yeah. we must do it. Yeah. And that uh, drives away a lot of injuries yeah. and makes you fit and flexible. Yeah. So I think it's another advantage for that uh, project. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. also to add on that, uh, the exercise that we are doing now is uh, giving the strength muscles and then running faster than last time is, uh, is possible. What do you guys think? Let's say everything goes 100% perfect. What time you will run? 
I think maybe 158 uh, low. Okay. But not 159 zero zero. Yeah, I think 158 low. You'll go under 159. Yeah. So to me, I think 159 low. 159 10, 159 15. Yeah. yeah. Some somewhere. There. My opinion is that uh, you will break the the barrier. The barrier. Yes. Yeah. It's between 159, 158. Yeah. 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 Sure. I think I'll use this one of guy who is really strong character. I, I think he's one guy who really believes in himself and he's one guy who always wants to, to tag everybody alongside what he has achieved. He always wants to tag us along. He always try to encourage us. Hey guys, if you want to be successful, let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. So he's not one guy who is really greedy of himself, but he always like to Take everyone along. I do believe in Eliud and himself. He believes himself because he is one of guy who is more organized. And in his training, he's always put training first, and everything comes second. So he believes himself. He believes in this training, and he believes in what. The teamwork supports him. The teamwork, the, the management, the, the, the coaches, the early surrounding him. So he believes in them and he believes in his training. So he prepares well for his success. They see this guy, he's here with us, he's eating with us, he's cleaning, cleaning with us, so why should I be different? So to me, I think it's a great motivation for the many athletes that are around the camp. And it, you can have so many testimonies that uh, being here has been an inspiration, not only for the camp, but also the community around here. Every morning when he goes out there, the school kids, they, they always shout his name, he inspires them. So, I mean, he's more than that athlete that we call Elliot Kipchoge. He's, he's, he's an inspiration in all aspects of life. <laughs>